cross-chain is a monumental problem because it's basically the problem of creating the internet of contracts. And it's not just creating an, uh, a set of networking connections between different nodes or different systems. It's actually creating a set of connections that can secure trillions and probably eventually hundreds of trillions of dollars in value, as well as the flow of information together with that value. So it's basically building the verifiable web by connecting all of the different blockchains, all of the different smart contracts in an efficient, secure, decentralized, and verifiable way. This uh, final piece of the problem, I think, now that it's live and now that it's getting widely adopted, makes the Chainlink network and the Chainlink platform a place where you can go to make advanced verifiable applications, both from the data point of view, the compute point of view, and the cross-chain point of view. The thing we focused on with CCIP is really around um, both verifiability of what's going on and decentralization. Because the decentralization security model, I think, fundamentally works. Many of the people that have tried to solve this problem before today don't really generate the amount of security via decentralization that we think is needed, which actually was the exact same story with data oracles. So before uh, decentralized oracle networks were utilized to transmit data to DeFi, the story there was pretty similar to what we see in the bridge world, where there were a few centralized solutions or one or two people trying to combine something and make it seem decentralized when it's actually distributed and basically creating massive risk and issues in a way that didn't allow DeFi to take off. So this is kind of a pattern we've seen before, and I think it's a pattern that the decentralized nature of Oracle networks can really help, uh, help solve.